it slid on, but no, but it's, um, what is that? What is that? What did they call that? Um, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> the slip. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you are new here. So, I just got through washing my hair with the Ladies First Honey Shampoo by The Dew and the Sweetest Thing Honey Moisturizing Mask by The Dew. And I did a video on that and I will have it in the end cards or down in the subscription. So you can get my opinion on that if you didn't watch that video. And if you did, thank you. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be using the Do Be Girl, Be Girl Honey Curl Custard. But first, I'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner to my hair. I'm looking for my water bottle. Where could I have put it? <laughs> I just had it. I am gonna rake that on through, Ooh, through my hair. I'm using the TGI Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner. I got that from TJ Maxx too. That's where I got the B-Girl from TJ Maxx. Okay, leave get in condition is on. I gotta go get the bottle. Isn't look how long my hair have gotten. This is I haven't looked at it in a while. Ooh, she done got real long. It's just I guess because it's wet, I'm fine. I see the the length in it, but usually I don't see it. I don't know why. I just I guess I wasn't paying it any attention that it had gotten longer. Okay. I'm trying these clips. I like them. I like them, like them. <laughs> I like the little clip clip, but these, I can pin my hair up and it's not, it's, see how you got those teeth and it just clip it like that and it don't pull like some teeth pull the hair so let me read what you're supposed to do with this so let what she call it what it do what it do hydrate protects and define even the lightest no even the tightest curl with no crunch or flaky residue and like the other one is made with honey aloe vitamin b c and e keratin and silk amon silk amino acid, silk amino acid. Apply to clean wet hair in small section. Rake through with finger to clump curls. Hood dry or diffuse with a hunt until 100% dry. Fluff as desired, 100% dry. So let's see what she look like. It didn't say how much you should use, I put hair in it. 
This is what it looked like. It looked like a light honey. It's very light scented, just like the other one that I used, the shampoo and the deep conditioner. If you don't like scents, you would like this because you're not going to smell the scent because it's very, very light. It's a little thicker than honey. <laughs> it's a custard. So that's how it looks. It's, it's not clear. And it, it's just a very light scent. And didn't say soaking wet hair, like the deep conditioner actually said. Soaking wet hair. This just said wet hair. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to it. It, the slip is really nice on this custard. I keep forgetting, I wanna put water on it. I think the slip is better with the more water cause it's, you know. Uh, um, I'm liking the way the curls look. And I'm only going to do half of my head on camera. And then I'm going to go off and do the other. And then I'm going to go up under the dryer for to dry it 100%. And then I'll be back. And that'll be day one for you guys. And then I'm going to come back maybe on day three or four and let you know what I feel about it. And like I'll say in all of my videos, I will only wash my hair in the middle of the week if something was a complete fail. Or I really come back and um, do something to it, like add moisture. I would do something to it if something is not working. But usually I don't do anything I might I might add a little water to it every now and then, or I might add some refresher to it, but not often. Usually, today I'm doing my hair is not, I'm not going to touch it again. No combing, no nothing until it's time for the next wash. The front of my hair always just don't want to do what it do. Is is straight. The curls are not straight and it's not heat damage. It just is. I hear a lot of um girls talk about the this part of the head. Just don't act like the rest. Like that back back there. It has some nice wranglet curls. This front up here. No, it don't. My hair feels so, my hair feel good before I add this to it. That, that shampoo and conditioner is something else. It's really nice. I like the shampoo and conditioner. <sighs> Remember to put some water, okay. My weekends is becoming do hair. Let them do some hair. Because I did my sister hair earlier also. Then I'm going over to do my grandson hair. He got an interview for his, a, a real job. Like, you know, it's, he can make a career out of it if he decide to. 
Will he? I don't know. Because, you know, those Generation X is something else. I think they X. So he will be going for an interview, so I want to twist his hair. He tried to do dreads, but his hair <laughs> just won't dread. It just, it will not dread up. We tried. I told him you have to go to a professional, maybe. Because we tried. I was like, Andres, you can't take them loose. You got to leave them in there. And then I'll retwist them in three months. Child, you know I could go in there with a um, this brush and brush every one of those <laughs> dreads out. And you know what? He didn't lose any hair. I told him dreads wasn't for him because he don't like his hair to be... Um, Frizzy looking? I was like, that's what dread looked like. They look frizzy. Oh, my hair feels so good. I'm not using that much of the um, custard. And I don't like going to my scalp with... Um, only up in the front, I'll go deep to the scalp, but usually I don't go all the way here like that because when I get ready to fluff it up, I don't like the, how can I say, why go that deep if I'm going out there with a pick to try to fluff it up? Oh my God, it's been 14 minutes. <laughs> okay. I wonder if my curls gonna be, I wonder if my curl gonna be elongated, like stretched with this product. It don't say, that it will. But my curls should be clumped together according to this. Um, I can't take that. I have to go in with this color. brush. I want them to be clump, but I don't want them to be like one big clump. Okay. I'm helping those curls. Just get back up in now. Okay. Do y'all think? Okay. Y'all think I should put, I think I should put. It's a dime size. As you can see, guys, I missed the section of my hair. Because that's, that's the thing. When them ends keep them little curls on the end, like if you have curls on the end, it's, it, it'd be perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, guys, I'm going to go 
put the rest of this all over my head and then I'm gonna go up under the dryer until my hair dry. I wish I can say 20 minutes, but it, it takes a little longer than 20 minutes to dry. So I'll be back. Did, did I? I don't think I did. what I'm thinking. Did I take some thumbnails? I don't know. Guys, I'm back. Um, She like it. She like it. I'm not going to fluff it right now. Usually I don't fluff it. What I do is like I'll put it up at night and do a little stretch to it. But this custard actually have a slight crunch to it. Like I think the more you use the more the crunch will be, the harder the crunch. It's almost like a gel, but not as hard. I didn't use that much. This probably will last me a whole year with using it every week. <laughs> and if you use it thick, I think it'll be the cr the harder the crunch. I think my sister really gonna like it because I'm loaded up, but it's a soft, except for when I felt like I went in too heavy to me. Like right up in here, it's crunchy, crunchy but look like the cast is easy to break on it. Look at the curls. It clumped them, didn't it? It looked good. And you know what's so surprising to me? I did not realize how much my hair had grown. I just did not see it until I was recording it. And I think it elongated the curls a little bit. So let's look, let's look. I wanna do the perm rod set. Mm. I might use a little bit of that on it, but it's so hot. It's 103 degrees. So I'll see you on day three or four. Hi guys, today is day three of using the Bee Girl Collection Honey Custard, Honey Curl Custard. I love it. <laughs> I really do like it a lot. It can go crunchy on you. If you, the more you use, the more crunch you're gonna get. But I don't know if it will call flakage if you use too much. I didn't have any flakage today and the curls are still super defined. I like it, I like it a lot. And I will be using it again. I need to try it on my sister here and see how does she like it. But I like the way it elongate the curl and it's bouncy just like they said. Natural softness, bouncy and shiny. And it is, it's beautiful. It is so, it's pretty. I like it. So this, the B girl is a 10 out of 10. It was my fault for putting too much of it on like here. And I could feel the crunch. But the Bee Girl is really good. This Curl Custard is really good. The shampoo, I did a video on that and you can check it out here or in the, um, what are those things? The end tags. Mm -hmm. So guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my video. And if you're new here, welcome to the family and I will see you in my next upload. Mm -hmm.